We had a live show. We had a live show two nights ago, and you caught me coming back from commercial trying to snorkel in a cup of coffee over here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My first guest tonight is an actor you know from Twin Peaks, Blue Velvet, and Sex in the City. He now stars in Joe versus Carol. No comment is not an evasion. You didn't dodge her question. You simply chose not to dignify it with an answer. That's what I'm saying. I mean, with journalism like that, they might as well rename themselves the Inquirer. What's next? Ellen and Portia are having threesomes with aliens? Ha! You know what we're doing? I'm going to cancel our subscription. Howard, no. You love their arts and leisure section. That's not fair. Oh, no, I am so angry. You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to write a letter to the editor. I'm going to write a strongly worded letter to the editor. I love it when you get all riled up on my behalf. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Kyle McLaughlin. Nice audience. Wow, they are thank you. People. It's nice to see you again. Thank you. Nice to be back. You're looking particularly destan gay with thank the salt and pepper and you. the very Steve McQueen turtleneck. Thank you. You you know my, my stylist. You must have spoken with her. Yes. Very good. Very good. Now, most people out there uh, know you from uh, Blue Velvet, Twin Peaks, Sex and the City, yes. Portlandia. Yes. The list goes on oh, and on. Man. But you've added uh, another uh, item to your resume, which yes. I didn't see coming. I don't, I don't know if you did. Uh, uh -huh. This was, uh, let's see, this was uh, this year, January 16th. You <laughs> working the runway in Milan yes. at the Prada fashion show. <laughs> Kyle McLaughlin, how did you end up on the catwalk? I have no idea. I, um... You knew that you weren't just walking. You knew you were actually in a fashion show, right? Uh, well, that's what they told me. Yes. Um, but they served me champagne backstage before I walked out there. They knew <laughs> I needed a little extra help. Um, You're wearing a lot of clothes there. That oh, is, those yeah, are that's some my, baggy, baggy jeans. Yeah, that's my new style. Pooling, no, 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 that's... And a big coat. That's a silk pajama, man. That's, that's... I'm rocking a those silk pajama. silk pajamas? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So this is just a black bathrobe, is what you're saying. Oh, that's four-ply yeah. cashmere, man. Oh, that, my God. That, I know, it was, it was amazing. So how did it feel? Oh, it was, it was fun. You know, really, the only thing that goes through your head when you're in that situation is, do not fall down. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that was running through my head the entire time. Are you new to walking? Why would you fall down? <laughs> it's You're not wearing it's, high heels, It's are you? walking under pressure. No, I'm wearing... <laughs> it's very challenging. Walking under pressure. pressure. Yes. Well, no, yeah, exactly. Have you done that, that does before? sound have hard. Yeah, that does sound it's hard. It's really challenging. Yeah, but walking and people are watching you walk. Well, that's true. And your rubber boots on a carpet, so the scuff factor is very high. Oh, and you could get those those sparky fingers you from could the get spark yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got... Don't touch anybody. <laughs> yeah. We actually have a clip of you actually oh, really? walking under pressure, oh, dear Jim. Lord. Okay. All right. That's nice. You look That's like nice. you know what I'm doing? No. Yeah, oh clearly you've walked before. I have not seen you uh, since uh, the premiere of Denis Villeneuve's Dune. Ah, uh, yes, and, I know and, we were speaking and about that. those of us who are originalists will remember you as <laughs> the original Paul Atreides here, <laughs> which I just thank you absolutely thank you. We've talked about this before. We have. I abs absolutely we have. loved it. I was very jealous because I wanted to be Paul Atreides. I yes. was a young actor at the time. Yes. Did I ever tell you when I went to go see this? They actually gave out a glossary. Yes. Yes, I had one too. I, I think I still have one folded up somewhere in my archives. Yeah. Yeah. But Did you, have you seen the new one? I have. They had a screening in Brisbane. I was down working in Brisbane. That's where we shot Joe yeah. versus Carol. And they had a, in a big, beautiful theater. We all went. You know, all the sound, the seats rumbled, the whole thing. It was fantastic. I Wait, thought, the seats, the seats rumbled. Oh, sure. Like well, you know, 4D. when the sandworms, yeah, when the sandworms come through, you got to have rumbling seats, man. I don't know. That. I got to go to a better theater. You got to go to a. <laughs> You got to go to Australia. That's yeah, where sure, you get the really good ride. theater. Yeah. Um, but it was good. It was really, I really enjoyed it. I thought Timothy did a great job. He was a wonderful Paul. <laughs> really good. I, 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 I was feeling very nostalgic sure. when I watched it because I was watching scenes that I had done, and here was a, he was a young man, and I, I tried to communicate with him. I said, don't put your hand in that box. That's not good. <laughs> no good things come from that What's box. What's in that box? It's one thing. 
pain. That's exactly right. <laughs> Were people surprised to see you there? They're like, no one recognized me. They didn't, they didn't, no, no idea. What are you no, talking no, about? No idea I was Kyle there. Kyle I thought. I told everyone that. No one seemed to care. <laughs> it's awful. It All right. Awful. Uh, no, it's fine. So, so th is that the first thing you did with Lynch? Yes. Okay, so that, yes. then, then, and then uh, and Blue, Blue Velvet, Velvet, of yeah. course, tremendous. Yeah. So you can see those two films really worked well together. And Twin Peaks. Uh, and Twin Peaks. And yeah. Twin Peaks. Yeah, David there, and I have done a lot of stuff. So many. <laughs> Twin Peaks twice. Twin Peaks twice. Twin Peaks twice. Oh, really, yes. three times if you count the movie. That's true. But Very okay, true. so there's so many. There's sort of legends about David Lynch. Oh yeah, that's you know, sort of a mysterious figure, yeah. very much his own way of doing things. Yes. Anything leap out immediately about working with David Lynch? Well, stories of like yeah. first encountering. Yeah, yeah, no, working with him on Blue Velvet. So, David um, uh, and and Naomi Watts actually reminded me of this when we were doing the reboot. She said, you know, he likes to talk to you when you're filming. And when, like when we were, you're doing a scene, why are you doing a scene? So during Blue Velvet, a lot of times we 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 were doing the scene, and he would. Sit, this is before the age of monitors, when the director would be off somewhere in the distance behind you know black flats looking at the screen. He was right underneath the camera, right there watching everything. So he'd just be like right there, and he would start to talk. He said, "He said now," and he always calls me Kale. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> That's a whole nother story. Anyway, he said Kale. All right look around and you see the coffee cup on the table. So I'm like in character and I look over and I go, now you go pick up the coffee cup, you take a sip and it's the worst coffee you've ever had. So you go. What do I do now? The whole point was trying to make me laugh. Blue but, Velvet is a funny film. But it's Hilarious. Subtle at times, yes, but yes. deeply, deeply funny. My intention was to try to make him laugh first. So this okay. is what it this is what it, it became. That was now. We have to take a quick break, but stick around. When we come back, I'll ask Kyle what they used in Joe versus Carol other than tigers, because they didn't use tigers.